Okay, anyway, 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 we're gonna start this. We're gonna rewind this and we're gonna we're gonna relax the chill chat. It's gonna be nice and cozy. I'm very excited. Actually, I don't know how cozy. This dude's crazy. But anyway, anyway, let's go. Let's start. Hey, Yon. I love spearfishing and I spent heaps on countless bits of gear. Why are you but so despite wet? Despite my passion, I'm kind of crap. And my ratio of shots <laughs> taken to fish hit is at best like one out of three. And even when I do hit a fish, like this cobia, which I shot in the back of an eagle ray. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool though. I lose them probably half the time. And that's a bad ratio. So today, instead of improving my aiming skills, Sounds I'm like going to make a double barreled issue. spear gun that hopefully makes it impossible for me to miss, which will lead me into the gnarliest three day adventure of my life. Ooh, pretty. Where I face big ocean currents. Big crazy currents. Yeah. We're not moving. Find some big fish. Big fish. That's a monster. Oh, homie's like fighting for his shots. life. Dude, he dead ass. He dead ass. Oh, I can't pause it with space bar like I normally do. He dead ass sounded like the fucking Subnautica damage sound effect. I'm weak. Hold on. <laughs> Big shot. Yeah, I just saw it. It was heading mm. right at you. Did you see what it was? I couldn't mm. tell from above. It looked like a white. Alright, the first thing I did was buy a big piece of wood. And there's debates amongst men in the spear fishing community about their favorite wood to get wet. You're gonna Most take men yourself suggest teak or mahogany as they are high in oils and the wood doesn't expand underwater. But they are both too expensive. So I ignored all the men on the internet and went for this stuff, black butt, purely because I like the name. But I have no idea if it will be strong enough or go well underwater. And for the handle of the gun, I'm going to copy the design of my camera gun, as I like the feel in my hand, and I think it'll be hilarious to confuse beachgoers by looking like I'm bringing a shotgun in the water to shoot fish. So after I sketched out the handle, I started cutting the wood with the jigsaw. That's always, that's always a goal in life, is just to confuse the shit out of people. But I've already got a problem. Either I don't know how to use a jigsaw, or this wood is too tough. And I cut a random piece of wood to make sure, and it's definitely the wood, and this sucks. My whole body is vibrating, and worst of all, I already have my first crack. So to uh, Okay, uh, the way his arm was just moving around with the vibrations. Ugh, bro, hold on piece of wood to make sure and it's definitely the wood and this sucks my whole body is vibrating Ugh. most of all i already have my first crack ha, so skill issue more cracks from getting any ideas i cut that one off and chucked it over the fence to disincentivize any others from appearing as you should bro so to avoid any more cracks, I decided to use my belt sander to just carve out the whole thing, which is incredibly oh, wasteful as I'm just turning the wood into dust and won't have any usable offcuts. But at least I'm probably going to inhale half of the wood, so it's not all going to waste. No, no, don't do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's a bad influence. Chat, look away. Don't look at this. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to do that. Don't, don't look away, chat. Look away. Look away. He's a bad influence. So it's not all going to waste. And I finished doing the profile, but discovered something else very embarrassing. And I'm going to show you, since I know you won't tell any of my other subscribers. Oh, I will. Another crack. And I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, as I've never worked on wood that has cracked this much before. It could be from all Chat, the look, chat, look. He cracked his wood. He cracked his wood. He cracked it. Point and laugh, he has skill issues. Sometimes I drop the wood on the hard concrete floor. Or it could be that time Why? I used it as a pinata stick. Why are you barefoot? Put some fucking shoes on, man. Put them grippers away. What? He never wears shoes? This dude's just fucking begging to lose a toe. Kid's birthday. <laughs> oh, he was well, so excited likely, for the rocks. The wood is the problem. But besides the cracks, I'm very happy with the shape of the gun. So I drew a line down the middle, which is where the barrels will go. And they're going to be made out of these carbon fiber tubes. 
but there's a problem. The spear doesn't fit into the tube, so I need to cut a dead straight notch down the whole tube. And to do that, I made this guide so I can pass the tube in front of this Dremel tool. And while cutting carbon fiber, it's... The way he says tube tickles my brain. He says tube or tube, tube, something weird. Question, which bear is best? Oh my God, obviously the black bear. <laughs> extremely important to ignore the manufacturer's recommendation of eating and inhaling the dust. As I've done that a couple of times and I find it really makes your asshole itch in the morning. <laughs> right? In an attempt to hide the cracks I just created, I traced around no. this section where the trigger is going to go as I want to reinforce it with a steel outer plate. But more importantly, it's going to look cool. And after cutting out the metal, I decided I didn't want to use this metal anymore as it's shiny. And instead of cutting out a different kind of metal, I'm just going to stain it with the only gun related thing I was legally allowed to bring back from the States, cold blue. I'm also hoping it'll yeah. add a bit of protection from the rust. But after looking up if it does that, it actually does the opposite. But I've already done it, so we'll find out what happens. Okay, now comes the most stressful part, which is cutting the slot for the trigger mechanisms. And I'm pretty scared because my first attempts at making it the trigger hole on scrap wood didn't go that well. And because it's double barreled with two spears, I'll have two triggers, which both have to be huh. perfectly in line with each other in order to shoot straight. But I've got another problem. The two identical triggers I ordered aren't the same. But I guess just like identical twins, parts of their bodies can be different lengths. And I don't How know what else to do besides work? cutting off the trigger and then rewelding it. How do you order the same part and they come out completely different? Like that one was significantly smaller than the other. Or it looks smaller. Identical triggers I ordered aren't the Definitely same. smaller. I guess just like identical twins. Part How the fuck does that happen? Parts of their bodies anyway. can be different lengths. And I don't know what else to do besides cutting off the trigger and then rewelding it. And the welding industry wants you to think... He's a pro, you say, right as, <laughs> right as he nicks himself on his little saw grinder thingy. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. I applaud him. You can't weld stainless steel with MIG. Or that you need to buy special welding wire. But they're lying to you. And this seemed to come out fine. At least for now, until it rusts in the water. And somehow, I got it pretty perfect. Okay, now for the trigger slot. And I did that using a router, a tool I've oh, always been well. way too scared to use Good job. ever since my mate Rowan cut the tip of his finger off. But my <gasps> fingers are shorter than Rowan's, so I should just miss the end of the cutting bit. And I don't know the- Bro, no, no, not his friend cutting the tip of his finger off, no. Oh, he looks so filthy too, bro, he grody. Need to wash them hands correct method, but I just plunged it into the hole and then gently moved it around trying not to go out of my lines. Then I drilled some holes all- I'm grody, you're grody, Dutchie. You're grody. Get wrecked, nerd. Get fucked. ...the way through and tidied up the trigger slot and put in the trigger mech. Alright, I've stuffed up again. If the spears are lying flat on the wood, they slide nicely into the triggers. But when I put the spears in the carbon fiber barrels, they don't fit. Too high. So either I'm going to have to raise the triggers up or cut rails for the carbon fiber tubes in the wood, which I'm just going to pretend I wanted to do the whole time, as it will also give me more surface area for the glue that I'm going to use later. So I cut some grooves with the router, and now I think this is going to work. Fucking hell. <laughs> Next, I cut some holes. There's a joke to be had there, but I'll let somebody else make it. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's going to be fighting for his life with this one. That's about the same thickness as your average Midwestern cock. Which will mean each... <laughs> your average, your average what? Your average what? He'll repeat that for me. Next, I cut some holes for the rubbers, and I want to use twin 16 mil rubbers. And for the Americans, it's about the same thickness as your average Midwestern cock. <laughs> which will mean each spear has the power of a single 16 mil rubber, which in my experience is more than enough. But I don't really know how thick the wood needs to be to support that much power, so that's another thing that could break. And this gun looks pretty nice, besides my dirty fingerprints all over it. So I sanded it all down and also removed some more wood to hide the cracks that I had created and then gave it a clear coat of epoxy, which will hopefully stop the water from getting in and making those cracks bigger and also make it look prettier. 
His lack of shoes scares me. Boxy spray specifically because it was the only thing I had in this. Wait, hold on. Shelf in my garage. Okay, okay, hold on. This dude will not wear shoes to protect his toes and feet from getting absolutely annihilated by all these power tools. But will in fact wear a gas mask to spray epoxy. Okay, makes sense. Ten out of ten. That looks all right. Okay, after letting the epoxy dry nice and hard, I then scraped the epoxy back off so that the glue I'm going to use will stick strongly to the wood. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Some of you are probably thinking that I could have just put masking tape over these areas while spraying the epoxy so I don't have to do double the amount of work. And you'd be right. And for the glue for the barrels, I sampled a lot of different kinds. Okay, number one, you ready? Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, bone smack the teeth. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, um... Oh, never mind. I can't make the joke on stream. <coughs> so hot. Right, number two. Number two. Yeah, go, go. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, you're pretty good. Oh, you're on. oh my God. I'm um, popular. Uh, cassette tea. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, no. Get fucked. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, he eats paint and glue, oh my god, like your average, like your average, uh... Never mind, never mind. <laughs> uh... Nah, fuck it, like your average Twitter user. And by far my favorite was this one, 69 Epoxy. Nice. Which, despite the name, I really wouldn't recommend using for that position. So I glued the carbon fiber barrels down. And I'm very glad I picked this epoxy, as it has an hour working time and 24 hours drying time. Yippee. As it probably took me over an hour to get everything down and straight and in line with each other. And then I just waited for it to dry. Please dry properly and in place. I'm not getting that off. Next, I'm going to do something I've never seen on spear guns and put things on the front, which I'm trademarking and calling shark pokers. As we shark quite often pokers. see sharks while spearing, and sometimes you have a nice sharp spear to poke them away with. But most of the time, I find the sharks come in after you have shot the fish, and then you no longer have a spear. So this still gives me a way to poke them and always remain protected while in the water. Oh, and that's speaking of protection, actually let me smart. tell you an even better way to protect yourself than shark pokers. Opera Browser, which is fully featured for oh my privacy, God. security, and protects Oh my God, this online. stream is it's not sponsored by Opera. Look away, chat. Look away. The browsers I've used and was really helpful while making this video. Look I away. I absolutely love the features it has, like Aria, an inbuilt browser AI, which is easily accessible in the sidebar and gives you clear answers instantly for whatever you want to know. Also, the highlight tool allows me to highlight anything online and then Aria gives me a brief explanation and overview of the topic. Also, oh, that's you helpful. Opera, I don't know why I'm watching this dude's ad. I have 30 regularly use the free VPN ads whenever it means you can detach video at once and is to get the most Yeah, useful, cool. Yeah, ad time. Also act as a wraparound go. point for the all right, back to the shark pokers. And the pokers also act as a wraparound point for the line that is connected to the spear. And that's something I haven't explained to you yet, the line release. I need a line attached to the spear, otherwise the fish just run away with the spear when you shoot them. And most spear guns have a little hook on the side that the line wraps around, which will release when you shoot. However, I don't want to put- Hi, you're- Hi, Enlightened Volcano, welcome in. Put one of these on each side of the gun, as it seems annoying, and a tangle risk. And also the triggers I bought didn't come with them. So my next idea was to use some of these money clips that I have because I'm a rich YouTuber, which I would attach to the side. And then the line would clip into them like this, and when you shoot, it just releases. However, I reckon I've discovered a better way, and I'm really confused why no one in the spear fishing industry does this. I can just place one end of the line around this, and then loop it over the fin of the spear, which will release when I shoot. And this is so simple, and removes so many moving parts. But the spear could also just tangle and bounce back and hit me. Okay, then I attach I kind of hope it hits him, honestly. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm not the best at tying spear gun rubbers. So this time, I'm going to tie exactly the same knot. And just before giving this a test shot, I thought of something. When I pull the rubbers back and place it over the spears, they are most likely going to be forced together like this, and they might jam in the trigger mech. So to hopefully stop that, I just took out some rubber washers from my car engine. I don't think <gasps> oh, that doesn't sound... Why would you... Do that, bro. That does not sound smart. Look how fucked up his fingers are from working on stuff. All cut up and gross. Blech. 
How am I doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing today, Yurt? This does anything. And then place that in it, which should keep the spears from pressing together. All right, it's time for the first test shot. And technically, it's not legal for me to shoot this while I'm not in the water. But I think I found a loophole. <laughs> 10 out of 10 loophole. What the fuck is going on with that mannequin in the background, bro? Her whole titty is out, and she's missing an arm. And there's something going on on her face. Am I in the way? Can you guys see that? Let me duck out of the way. Shit's cursed, bro. Oh my god. I'd be so scared to walk into this man's, uh, uh, workshop, I swear to god. But at least he keeps the nails short. You know, that's a fair point. That's a very fair point. You're doing good. I'm so glad to hear you. <laughs> what happened? And what after happened? After retying all the rubbers. I It snapped! Oh no, that's my luck too, though. Hi, Anime Titty Fan, how are you doing today? Welcome in. And after retying all the rubbers, I had another go. Is it gonna happen again? Three, oh no. Oh! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Dude, he took her the fuck out. Rest in peace, mannequin friend. I will miss you forever. Wow. I'm glad I put the rubbers on the end. Yeah. That would have been nasty. Like, that could have, like, gone into the yeah, ground. And I'm very happy with that shot. Both the spears came out at exactly the same time, and the lines also didn't tangle, and the power seemed like heaps. And that was only with one rubber, but the spears will be moving a lot slower in the water. Also, the cracks could get bigger. The triggers might not go off at the same time, and then the spears will unlodge in a catastrophic way. Oh, and the wood might be too heavy or too buoyant underwater. All of which I'll only find out once I get in the water. Does that mean it's time to get in the water? Oh god, oh no. To the town of Agua Fria, rode a stranger oh my god. Do we got dollar bills to throw at him? Chat, do we got dollar bills to throw at him? I wish I had dollar bills to throw at him. Make it rain. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. He's an outlaw who's <laughs> the fuck did I get into? Hello, Kratos, welcome in. We're watching I Did a Thing. How are you doing today? Good morning. I honestly didn't know he was going to strip, though. I stand by needing dollar bills. I love the energy of I did a thing videos. <laughs> I was doing great till now. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Kratos. Damn, you got that cake on screen? Buffery? Hear me gooning. <laughs> Fuck average. No. <laughs> No! Bad! Average! Average! No! Get the fuck out of here, bro! You're horrendous! You're horrendous! You fucking down horrendous crazy for that one. He's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip. A big iron on his hip. Now I want my spearing spots to remain secret so you guys don't- Now we know why she wanted to use watch that? Yeah, for the cake, bro. Fucking absolute cake. Got an absolute dumpy. Don't just come there and mass kill every single fish. Which is why I'm gonna try and not show any recognizable locations. Oh yeah, definitely not recognizable. <laughs> the dedication, I love it. Hapless, pat pat. Hapless Goblin, thank you for the bits. I'm sorry, my notifications seem to be breaking, broken right now. I don't know what's wrong with them. But thank you so much. Mwah. Aw, rest in peace. And after meeting up with my other mate. Can we get an 07 in chat? 
Should we get an 07 in chat for the man who just drowned the dead, drowned trying to sing his song? Xenoform detected. Hello, Dr. Basilisk. Welcome in. We headed out to get some fish. And obviously, as this is a video about me making a spear gun, I am going to be shooting fish. But don't worry, oh, all no, the fish I shot fish. were pedophiles. And we're at a pretty remote island. What the fuck did this man just say? I was too busy yapping. What the fuck did this man just say? But don't worry, all the fish I shot were pedophiles. <laughs> oh no, okay, go on. We're at a pretty remote island chain six hours south of Sydney. And we've been here before and know that the area can be pretty rough. And with big swells forecasted, we decide to stick in the shallows, which would give me the opportunity to test out the gun and get my aim in on some smaller fish. Well, I'll see you in the water. Oh, that's a cute turtle. I love sea turtles. And I'm not sure what this turtle was doing. At first I thought it was just dead, as it wasn't moving and its head was squished under the rock. But I think it was just sleeping or trying to get a feed or something. How fucking so, dare you interrupt his sleep? Up, I got on the hunt for some fish. And here I'm doing a shallow dive to around 3 meters, 10 feet, as I saw a school of Luderick in the distance. And Luderick are usually pretty easy to hunt, but sometimes they can get skittish, and that's probably what happened as they saw me dive down, and then I couldn't get close enough to get a shot off. So I went out a little- I just want to take a brief second to pause and say this man is a lot braver than I am. 3 meters slash 10 feet down under the water is fucking way too much for me even, so props to him, I could never. Deeper and dove to around Also, hi Shonen, welcome in. 7 meters or 22 feet and found a big group of red Morwongs. And red Morwongs are just one of those fish you almost feel bad for shooting as they are a super easy shot and they just sit there staring at you with their big eyes. And in the background, I spotted one that looked around 40 centimeters, the perfect eating size. Oh my god, get it, get it, get it. But I still missed. Oh, get fucked. And I found out the first problem with this gun. There's twice as many spears to tangle on stuff. No shit, right? another right? problem I'm feeling is that the gun is super heavy in the water and it sinks really fast, which is making it really awkward to move around. So I reset the spears, which probably takes four times longer than a normal gun, ah. and took another dive. And on the way down, found a hole that I thought an octopus would be in. Oh no, not the octopus, bro. Leave the octopus alone. But no one was home. Was that a face mask well, stuck did... in the rocks? Hold on. It sure looks like it. You guys see it? Like right here? Blue face mask? Nice. But no one was home. But I did find this big school of blackfish, which are delicious. You wanna shove me in there? Fuck no, bro. I could never, bro. Fucking small space plus underwater. I think I would actually scream, cry, throw up. All the fucking things all at once if you tried. <laughs> I'm not hearing a reason not to. Oh my god. I would bite your ankles if and you tried. I missed again. And for some reason, us Australians Damn always Z. have the most racist names for fish. We got blackfish, Jewfish, Chinaman leather jacket. What the fuck? And if you think those fish have racist names, you should look up what Luderick used to be called. And this gun is really hard oh, to find. Oh, chat. In chat. Do we look up what Luderick used to be called? Live on stream? Or should we just not? Oh, no, I'm not gonna. It sounds like a bad idea. And at this point, after missing, 
so many times, I was desperate to get something for dinner and even decided I was happy with something small. So I dove again with the plan of shooting a saw tail. But I'm making these grunting noises in a poor attempt to attract fish closer, as hopefully they'll think I'm drowning and then come over to stay safe with me. <laughs> And I missed again. Oh my now, god, looking dude. back at the footage, I wasn't even pointing at the fish. So I'm... <laughs> oh, he shot three times and has missed all three times. Talk about fucking skill issues. Definitely having trouble lining up the gun. Alright, so I had scared a lot of fish in this spot. So he moved into different water and did some deeper, longer dives at around 12 meters or 40 feet. Oh god, hell no. this dive, I want you to hold your breath with me and see how far you make it. Okay? 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five. Oh, chat. Does my asthmatic ass try to hold my breath with this guy or nah? I probably wouldn't even make it halfway down, honestly. The fuck he's- Why would you go that deep? Oh my god, I, I just hate the look. This does not help the fact I'm currently playing Subnautica, but I hate fucking how blue and nothing that water looks. Like, I fuck I can't stand that. That's so fucking spooky. I hate it. Ugh. Do it, coward. I right, bet. Four, three, two, one. Hold. I made it 15 seconds. Let's go! Dutchie, I did not hear that. That did not play. Seems like my alerts are broken today. Just refund it, bro. Oh my god. If anybody has held their breath this long, you're a real Chad. I could never. Oh my god, is he gonna shoot something? Is he actually gonna get a fish? Come on, man, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got your fish, right? And breathe. And if you managed to hold your breath for that long, good work. And if you didn't, and you've now blacked out in front of your computer, even better, <laughs> please remain that way for the rest of the video, and then let my other videos keep auto-playing after. Oh, big brain, you so smart. You okay? And on this dive, I'm attempting to go full stealth mode and made my body as flat as possible on the bottom and then used boulders as cover and then used my hands to crawl along trying oh. to get closer to the school of lottery. Smart, smart. You got this. I believe in you. You can get your fish. So I missed again. Oh my god, dude. And again. And there are a lot of problems with this gun. The biggest one being how hard it is to move around underwater. And I need to press it up against my shoulder to move it properly, which makes it incredibly hard to aim. And after missing this much, the weather turned to shit. So we oh. called it a day. Oh my god, I'm so sad he I didn't mean, get his fish. I learned, gun misses a lot. Nice. Ooh, pretty. And day two, we woke up early and the swell was looking super flat. And even before we got in the water, we could see a shark from the house on the drone. So I ran down to the water and jumped in and it was a big nurse shark just cruising for some food. And after taking- 
Homie's so fucking brave, like, fucking sees a shark in the water on his drone. It's like, I'm gonna go jump in the ocean. Like, bro, miss me with that, okay? Like, no, thank you. I think I don't know how, I don't know how aggressive nurse sharks are, so. In the drone back up, we also spotted a hammerhead shark. Ooh. A pot of dolphins chilling in the shallows. Oh. Big schools. I love dolphins, but dolphins are fucking truly wicked creatures, bro. They're so fucking evil. <laughs> of rays and these mysterious fast moving objects which were either big fish or sharks and we hoped this meant it would be a fishy day and today we decided to head out a kilometer offshore to the islands as the oh. swell was lower and we know from last time when we were here that it's where the bigger fish hang out but as soon as we got the boat past the headlands into more open water the weather got worse and the water was looking eerie and dark and yeah that's some spooky ass water like no fucking thank you no part of me wanted to hop in, so my mate got in first. Your friend is very brave. I could never. Is it? Yeah. Fuck. And the water was disgusting, and we were in about 20 meters of water, but could barely see three meters in front of us. So we moved closer to one of the islands, and I made a dive. No, thank you. And sadly, my GoPro was broken as I was diving past 10 meters, but I didn't realize. So I was just swimming around like an idiot trying to film stuff. But luckily we have my mate's perspective that barely captures what happens. I managed to get my first fish, <gasps> a massive Yay! black drummer. Oh my God, applause, he got his first fish. Let's go, good job. And I guess I could be lying as you didn't actually see the shot and I could have just shot an already dead fish that we planted there earlier. <laughs> but I was ecstatic to get a fish with the gun for dinner. And it was big as well, weighing in at 3.5 kilos. Oh, big fish. Big fishy. So after putting the fish in the boat, we jumped back in, in a slightly different spot. And the visibility got increasingly worse and so did the current. Okay, his visibility is worse because look at that fucking, the ocean looks mad. <laughs> There's a fucking big ass storm rolling in. I swear to God, that water looks scary. I would never, not even on a boat would be in this water. But even with the worst conditions and being barely able to stay in one spot, my mate managed to shoot a leather jacket with the most unnecessary gangster grip I've ever seen. But while he was getting the fish on the float line, we were unknowingly being pushed by the current. And when we did finally look up, the boat was like 300 meters away. Yo, if I, if he did the thing, he did do the thing. I'm so proud of him. Oh my God. But if I got up out of the water and I was 300 meters away from my, from my, from my vessel, my vehicle, my boat, I would shit bricks right there in the water. <laughs> yeah, we're going to head back that way. And it's so hard to know how strong the currents are pulling you when the visibility is bad, as we don't have an underwater reference point. So I thought we were floating in one spot as I was watching a school of fish and keeping up with them. But it turns out those fish were also moving in the current. This is pretty crazy current. Yeah. We're not moving. I mean, let's just try to swim hard to it. And we swam against the current for like 10 minutes, but it barely moved. And I don't know if you can tell from this footage, but this current was ripping. Oh no, bro, no thank you. And just when I turned to Jilly and realized we were in a bit of trouble. We're not moving. We have a bit, we'll be behind that rock before. Uh our knight in shining armor arrived. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude on a jet ski for the win? What an absolute fucking Chad, bro. This beautiful bloke named Michael, who picked me up on his jet ski and took me back to the boat. And you know what? I'm very glad I didn't drown, as I'm pretty sure drowning and dying is against YouTube's monetization policy, <laughs> and I really don't want this video to be demonetized. 
But my mate was still in the water. But luckily my mate was calm about the hole being swept out to sea thing and decided to make the best of it and reload his gun and shoot some fish while waiting to be picked up. Oh, that's but a productive use of time. But unfortunately for him, before he could reload, this school of kingfish, probably around the 85 centimeter mark, came in and had a good look at him before disappearing into the gloom. Oh, uh, yeah, they, they, they turned around and were like, oh, fuck that, bro. No, thank you. They dipped so fast. They were so gone. Shoot one. It's really good to know they were in the area. Then Michael came just in time before he was swept in between the two islands and took him back to the boat. Oh my god, Michael's an actual fucking Chad. Michael's a real homie. We appreciate him for this. Michael, if you're watching, we love you. Alright, after that sketchy experience, we decided to call it a day and had some delicious black drama ceviche for dinner. Oh, oh that looks and gross though. I woke though. up determined to get some fish. Not just for the video, but just to eat, as we had been living off rations for the last two days. <laughs> so we headed out on the boat to the calm spot from the first day and just decided to stay in the water until we got something good. And on my first dive, I dove to around 27 feet and spotted a nice size sweet lips. Sweet lips. Is that what the name of that fish was? Hold on. A nice size sweet lips. Yes, it was. And it didn't want to get close and it also seemed to be hiding behind a big blue groper which we aren't allowed to shoot so i waited for the blue groper to move out of the way a blue groper and missed and that's it oh he I'm missed done. i'm missing even more with this gun than my normal one and it's so frustrating to use so now i'm just going to focus on catching dinner and having a nice time so i grabbed my old gun ah uh, he gave up on his shotgun spears no <laughs> and because I broke my GoPro, I don't have my point of view of what happened next, but luckily my mate still recorded enough of it. I was breathing up on the surface in around six meters of water while my mate was untangling his gun. And in comes a three meter or 10 foot shark. And my mate does the Ooh. right thing and stays calm and just watches it. But for some reason, Ooh. he doesn't. Look at him there in the water. He's spooky. If I if I got if I got greeted by a ten foot shark, I would probably panic because that's like twice my size. I would freak the fuck out, bro. That's not fun. I don't like sharks. Tell me it's nearby. Sharks scare me. And lets me dive to the bottom right next to it. Then when I get to the bottom, I only spot the shark when it's like four feet away from me at eye level. And I got the fright of my life, and then did what you're not meant to do and freak out and immediately swam to the surface. You know what? I don't even blame him. I would probably also freak out and immediately swim to the surface and try to climb into the boat. Yeah, I just saw it. It was heading right at you. Did you see what it was? I couldn't tell from above. It looks like a white. A white? You reckon? Fuck. And at the time, I thought it was a great- They are way too chill about a fucking giant ass shark being right next to them. I would be tripping, bro. I thought you were playing. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we just watching some stuff. We just watching. We chilling. Hello, Ironhide. Welcome in. Great white. It was in the murk and I could just see gray and then white on the bottom of the shark. But after seeing this footage, I think it's more likely a dusky whaler. Still a big shark though. So after seeing the shark, we did a couple more dives. And my mate took this sleeping morwong. Ah, oh, that's cheap. Get it while it's down. And some other fish. And then as we were swimming back to the boat, the third greatest thing that's ever happened to me in the water happened. We were both on the surface and I saw these little fish dart away. So I knew something big was coming in. Ooh. And then in came two massive kingfish. And without even thinking, I took a top down shot directly into the spine of the fish. And then my mate dove down to shoot the other one, but in his excitement, knocked his goggles half off, letting water into his eyes. Or at oh, least that's no. the excuse he told me, and he missed. But my fish was on, and it seemed to be a good holding shot. And I knew this fish was big, but I didn't realize how big it was until I tried to pull it to the surface, and I couldn't. 
And I was very lucky that my shot must have nicked its spine. I'll get it in for you. As kingfish this size have more than enough power to pull all your gear down and tangle up on the bottom. But oh, luckily no. I was managing to control the fish and stop it from doing that. But while I was doing this, I then began to think about the big shark we just saw and worried it was going to come in and eat the fish before I could. But there was nothing else I could do but wait until my mate had reloaded for a second shot. And if you've ever gone spearfishing, you'll know that there is no slower feeling in the world than trying to reload your gun while there's good fish around. And it took him a whole 1 minute 30 to do. Ah, dude, he's also, fumbling. The other kingy, he just he's fucking fumbling, bro. You're fumbling the bag, bro. Mist was still swimming around, taunting him. But eventually he reloaded and dove down for a second shot. Do you want me to second shot or go for the other one? Probably just second shot. Come on, man, you got this. I believe in you. Come on, come on. The big ass fish. Yeah, damn. That's a monster. And the whole idea of me making the double barreled gun was to not have to need a second person or a second shot in situations like this. But you know what? I am very glad I didn't have the double barreled spear gun on me, as I definitely would have missed this fish. And eventually the fish got tired enough and we managed to pull it up to me. And only now, when I tried getting my arms around the fish, did I realize how big it was. Hey, it was it. almost the length of my mate. It's a big ass fish, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, they're happy cheers. They're happy cheers sound like fucking subnautica damage, dude. Like <laughs> I, I, I know they're excited. It's very cute, but they sound like they're taking damage in Subnautica. That might just be because my brain is stuck on Subnautica. And this doesn't feel real. I've never seen a fish this big before. It's ridiculous. It's fucking giant. My shot wasn't bad. And this is definitely going to be enough fish for dinner. So we headed in. And on the way, we grabbed some abalone, or as I call them, vaginas of the sea. The what? The fucking what? Excuse me, sir? Dinner? For, yeah, dinner for like for a fucking week, bro. The what of the sea? And on the way, we grab some abalone, or as I call them, vaginas of the sea. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. 10 out of 10. And then weighed the kingfish. And it came in at 22 kilos and 136 centimeters, which is 4 foot 4, or 50 pounds. I forgot how big it was. 50 pound fish? Jesus Christ. A fucking fish is almost as tall as I am, bro. Fucking hell. Has anyone played Bioshock? I have not played Bioshock. Was already after you just pulled it out again. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> It's just a big bowl of vaginas. Hell yeah. A blue whale white heart weighs like 800 pounds. Fucking hell, bro. Why the fuck is he caressing dinner? Why not? Do you not sensually caress your dinner before you consume? That is the best way to eat your meal. I'd like to say grace. There are big ships. There are small ships. There are ones that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships like the ones between you and me cringe fucking cringe everybody point and laugh at this bozo and after the success of this double barreled spear gun i've decided i don't want it and whoever finds it first gets it just please don't shoot yourself or anyone with it the coordinates to its location are hidden somewhere in this video <laughs> of the clip, the clip of the dude climbing out of the water with his guitar, bro, I'm weak.